Here's an aerial drone shot near Palmdale, California. You can see the 14 freeway and the LA Aqueduct. To the right, you can see Lake Palmdale. Here's another photo of the area from 1952, before there was a freeway. You can see the San Andreas Fault running north of Lake Palmdale. Experts have warned that we are overdue for a large earthquake, but how do they know that? In 1977, a Caltech geology professor by the name of Carrie C. was studying an area along the San Andreas Fault, northwest of the Devil's Punch Bowl, called Pallet Creek. He was studying a dried out marsh along the San Andreas Fault when he noticed that you can see different layers of sand, gravel, and peat that have been laid down over the centuries. He dug a trench in the marsh along the fault and then he carbon dated the organic material, dating the earliest layers as far back as 500 AD. Dr. C examined how each of the different layers has shifted every time an earthquake had struck the area. He was able to pinpoint the dates of earthquakes recorded in the marsh sediments over the past 1,500 years. The last large earthquake in 1857 was both recorded in the layers of the marsh and in the historical records in the area. The 1857 quake had a magnitude of 8.2 to 8.3 and lasted two to three minutes. The Pallet Creek data was important because they represented the only known precise record of long-term history of large earthquakes in the area. On a hilltop overlooking the 14 freeway in Palmdale, you can see the Palmdale Road Cut. 14 freeway was built directly through the San Andreas Fault. Here you can see the San Andreas Fault exposed as it twists and folds with the Little Rock Fault. So if the last big earthquake was in 1857, and the soil data suggests that we have a large earthquake every 160 years, that does mean that we are overdue for the big one. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Take care.